Hey everyone, so today we're going to look at a breakdown of the cabinet VFX shot from the Cherry Hearing episode we did recently. You know, a visual effect shot is a bit like a cocktail. You start with a solid base, then you start building on top of that. So here's the initial element that we shot in the real cabinet. Some initial rotoscoping work to crop in and then extracting the spices off that plate to put in the foreground. A bit more roto work just to get my fingers in there as well. And now we're going to start adding in the basic 3D geometry that we use to build the tunnel using a grid texture initially, just to check the speed of the camera move as it comes back. Now I'll start replacing the walls with a bit more believable texture and painting in some shadows to help ground the spice bottles into that fake digital environment. Then we shot an element for the hearing bottle itself, trying to match the lighting a bit, extract that out and drop it in, and there you go. So now here's a look at the actual final shot. I hope you enjoy. Wait, we're not done yet. We wouldn't leave you without a cocktail recipe, of course. And this week, we have a simple yet effective one for you, the Baron Semity. This is another original from Beach Bum Berry, created as recently as 2008. The cocktail is a nod to the Haitian voodoo demigod of the same name, known for his smoking, drinking, and general debauchery at the crossroads between life and death. He's often found in the revival voodoo culture of New Orleans, and it was here that Jeff Berry created this cocktail at a happy hour event at a rum distillery. Now, as mentioned, this is a simpler cocktail consisting of just lime, cinnamon infused sugar syrup, falernum, and Martinique rum. I'm hoping that the bit of cinnamon in there will help give an appropriate seasonal fall twist. So let's jump in. Let's do the lime juice, the cinnamon infused sugar syrup. Check out instructions on how to make that in our previous episode on the Nui Nui. The falernum. We're using John D. Taylor's velvet falernum here. And the Martinique rum. In this case, we're using a nice Clement. All right, let's toss a good amount of ice to shake and agitate and chill the drink. Also, just sounds cool. Nice. Now, we're going to serve this in a chilled coupe glass. Let's strain it in. And there it is, Baron Semity. Now let's see if this thing is any good. Ah, yeah, that's okay. Could have another one or 10. So it's a bit lime forward taste wise, but it has a surprisingly nice complex flavor for how simple it is. While it doesn't have as powerful a cinnamon kick as I had first hoped, it's definitely something worth trying as an easy to make, refreshing fall cocktail. So that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, please consider giving us a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on future tiki adventures and cocktail recipes. Until then, cheers. <laughs> You're still here? There's no outtakes this week, guys. It's a short episode. Okay.